Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken today. I know the election was, oh wait, it was just on Tuesday. Well guess what, we're now finding out what the new plans are for the nation. Oh, wait a minute, it's just like what the Republicans said? Well for now we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. He works. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well actually it is this time because the Democrats are now going to a one-party rule. They're, they're going to rule from the White House and the Senate, which oh, we said, didn't he say they were going to do exactly that, that the Senate was going to take control? Mm -hmm. They've decided to make it impossible for the Republicans to stop any vote that they want to have. Anything that they want to have passed, they will pass. The, the nuclear option, you know how they did the nuclear option on the health care? They're going to do the nuclear option on running this nation from now on for two years. Anybody remember what happened the last time they did it? They got thrown out of the house so that they couldn't do this again, so they're going to do it anyway. I mean, I find it to be unbelievable that the Democrats think they got a mandate. Even if I heard this morning on the network news, mainstream media said, how much they, basically they, they questioned an Obama cabinet member five times and they refused to acknowledge they don't have a mandate. And he finally said, you got two-tenths of a percent more than the other man did. And he had the personality of an amoeba. You almost got your butt kicked by an amoeba. <laughs> so is that why they're saying it's our way or the highway? That's right, because the Democrats are going to have the cost. They said they're going to do it their way and then let the courts decide whether it's legal or not. Which means they want to pass, they want to do all this spending that can't be reversed. And then... Uh, they're counting on them. Okay, here's the way it works is 70% of the people in this nation are over the age of 30, folks. 60% are married. If you're married or you're over 30, you tend to vote Republican. Okay, I know the, Repo the Democrats' math isn't really great. Isn't 70 greater than 30? Mm -hmm. Is it 60 greater than 30? Mm -hmm. So therefore the Republicans, if they, if they have a candidate with anybody likes, couldn't lose elections from now on. And the Pentagon releases Benghazi timeline and defends a response. Uh, well, the problem is, is the timeline keeps getting worse for the Obama administration, which, uh, uh, you know, they, they said, well, they, there's now a two-hour gap in the, in the material that they got, and they're trying to find out where. We know what happened. Where is the two hours that have now been removed? Mm -hmm. you know, part of it has to do with the Navy SEALs disobeying orders and going oh. to the attack. Yeah, so now that sort of no longer exists, which is another reason for calling uh, the, the, you know, calling on for trackers. And here, here's a neat thing, folks. You know what, Fleet? Fleet, this is Fleet Obama. He said, lawyers have a tendency to outsmart themselves because they think they're smarter than everybody else. They basically got rid of Patrakis by this so-called affair, which was done with a woman who just happened to be a security expert, who was an anti-terrorism expert, uh, who just got promoted to lieutenant colonel for some known reason, and is an FBI agent. Oh. And the FBI is the one that instigated the investigation because of emails that were being given. Who do you think gave the people at the FBI the emails? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called House Done in Chicago. And how Oregon almost became a pot dealing state. Yeah, but the voters, the voters overwhelmingly turned. Okay, the voters saw what was going to happen in Colorado, which the people in Colorado couldn't fathom, which was once they passed the law, they were just going to abuse everything. So they passed the law. They're now dealing marijuana on the streets in the state of Colorado, which is a violation of their statutes until the law becomes enforced sometimes in 213. And Tourist agencies are now booking tours for Christmas holidays to come buy marijuana in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And they're also allowing families, to, their families are now openly buying marijuana plants to grow in their homes and their yards. Why not? Because, and they said, no, the, the, they said the Attorney General, who happened to be a Democrat, said, this is called the law of unintended consequences. Then in Oregon, they basically told them, no, the people of Oregon were smart enough to know that this was what's going to happen if the, if you give the people the opportunity. They were going to mm -hmm. abuse the situation. And gas rationing, shortage frame nerves in New York City. Well, okay, they're not allowed to build any refineries, any new refineries. 
and the oil therefore then has to be shipped in across the country in a snowstorm or it has to come by boat because they also didn't allow any pipeline to be built on the east coast. So when, they, when they're all bitching up a storm, you have to understand, you elected the government that didn't allow anybody to do any, any new building in the last 20 years. And Broadwell, not the type to have an affair. Well, they said that uh, she is a, she is she's a West Point graduate. She is basically uh, totally does what she's told to do. I mean, folks, you want to hear the definition? Oh, wait a minute. She does what she's told to do. Yeah, you know the definition of a secret agent is that uh, a, a female femme fatale basically she would fit well into a Bond movie, working for the other side, trying to get James Bond to turn. So, and first of all that um, what happens is, is that you don't actually ever have to do anything to have your reputation destroyed. They just put it out there that you did. They let the wife know you did. They see pictures of him and her together, which since she was embedded with his his office because, she, oh, because she was working for the anti-terrorism division of the FBI. It would be pictures of them together. Yeah, but it could look like they were, uh, they were doing things social because uh, a four-star general doesn't wear his uniform continually because mm -hmm. he does more than be a general, he's a politician. Mm -hmm. So he goes to a party with a with an FBI agent, an expert on anti-terrorism, and, and then... And it's all part of business. Part of business. And Facebook Sandberg sells $7.4 million in stock. Which is basically, they said that's basically all... He, he was a billionaire at one time and he's no longer a billionaire because of stock oh. didn't worth anything. The stock continues to fall because, okay, Facebook is basically, they bought Instagram and now they're changing the rules of Instagram. I mean, hey folks, oh, you know, oh, Flea, you know what Flea says? Flea said all those naughty pictures that you have on Instagram that you sent to your boyfriend or girlfriend are that you basically wanted everybody to know accidentally, they're now on the internet. And they're very public. And in order to get them, make them private, you have to register with the system uh, and then that makes them even more public because you can't take them down, you can't change anything until you register and when you register they then become more private until you remove them all. Mm -hmm. And these constructing the five most ridiculous myths about Barack Obama. Uh, one that he's a socialist, which everybody knows. One that he refuses to compromise, which everybody knows. Another is that he uh, he basically is totally an incompetent that can't work without teleprompter, which everybody knows. And and t that the fourth is that that he is anti-white, which everybody knows. And five that he'll throw anybody under the bus in order to get what he wants because he's from Chicago. I mean, those are not myths. Those are okay. It is not a myth if it is the truth. And woman who drove on sidewalk must wear an idiot sign. Well, that they can't. They, they, she goes to jail because she she basically injured people driving on a sidewalk. Folks, that's jail time. Oh wait a minute! This is the Ohio woman who drove on the sidewalk to avoid a school bus, ordered to wear the idiot sign. Yeah, yeah. that's the same person. Yeah. And commentary: fear of a Romney America. There is no what fear of a Romney America. Romney was Romney was nothing but a Republican version of Obama. What killed Romney was he pushed Obama. He basically created Obamacare, refused to admit it was wrong, and then he wouldn't stand up for anything. The only thing he stood up for was when they were attacking his family. If you basically anything else, he wouldn't defend the fact that his Bain Capital put hundreds of thousands of people to work and it had nothing to do with the people that were fired. Those were the people that came afterwards. And fellow Republican Price bucks Boehner on health care. Oh yeah, he said, uh, he said that he's going to go after the health care program. Boehner, okay, Boehner is gone when the new session meets. It's obvious because this guy, he wants to compromise on every position you can think of and uh, you know, and their party has said no. We're not going to raise taxes. We're not going to have. Okay, the, even a Democrat is doing the thing now. We've got. They got to pay a penalty for being here illegal. Basically, Boehner wants amnesty for all of them. What? To get over with. Yeah. Are you sure he's a Republican? Yeah, he's he's going as, as speaker. They're probably going to put uh, Cantor or um, Ryan is going to be the next speaker. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, just because you say it is doesn't make it so.